It's 5 a.m. and Hot Toys just announced an Ahsoka Tano figure is coming. But is this a display or nay? Yeah! Yeah, this went on for a while. What's up guys, welcome back to another Collecting News episode. Yes, Hot Toys finally announced an Ahsoka Tano figure is coming. You Hot Toys guys, you've been watching my videos. That's what I'm talking about. So, before we get into all of the things, it's not available for pre-order just yet, but it will be available for pre-order probably very soon, possibly today or maybe Thursday, depending on you know what's, com what's coming out at that point. But anyway, if you're looking to pick this thing up, you can go over to Collector Zone and you can use the simple code MCE. That is MCE. Yes, yes, very good. And you can save yourself some coin on that if you go to Collector Zone. And you can also go to Big Bad Toy Store if you're looking to pick it up. And I'll leave the links in the description below for you guys to get to that. And if this is your first time on the channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all of our content. And please, in the comments, let me know what you think about this Ahsoka Tano figure. Are you as excited as me? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get into this. So I am super pumped that we're getting an Ahsoka Tano figure. This is really awesome. I kind of was hoping that we'd get a statue, but I'm still extremely happy to get something. So Hot Toys does an amazing job with all of their other figures, so I'm sure they're going to do a fantastic job on this one. Ahsoka Tano looks to be one that is not going to be showing any joints, so I dig that because then you know, you're know you not going to see any of the, of the joints when you pose her. That's something that I don't really like looking at. They did decide to go with a more realistic take on her portrait, so it's going to match up with what they've been doing so far with the Clone Wars, with Anakin and uh, Kenobi, and then all of the other clones. And speaking of the other clones, they also gave us a clone trooper, a generic clone trooper, that has the optional helmet for the uh, for Ahsoka Tano. So this is going to be the 501st Legion, and they have that painted scheme like they did in the final two episodes, or in the final three, four episodes of the Clone Wars. For those of you guys who are looking to army build, now's your chance here to get some of those clones to fill up the ranks. So that's pretty dope. So other than that, you also get the cloak that she was wearing in the final episode of the Clone Wars. So that's really dope. Now, I wasn't really keen on picking up the other two, Anakin and Kenobi. They do look like the realistic take, and that's the reason why I was like, eh, you know, I, I didn't know if I really wanted that. But now that I see Ahsoka, kind of leaning that I may get those as well or try to find those so that way you, know, you can line them up. But I already have Captain Rex on order, so I think that she would line up very well with just Captain Rex and maybe like a few clones behind her. And I think that would look pretty dope as well. So... I don't know. I'm going to go a little crazy. I may get all of that, so let's just see what happens. Other than that, you get a display stand that you can uh, put her on. You get some optional hands that you can have. You have the two lightsabers that they that uh, she uses, and she also has the option so that you can have the wand, so it makes it look like the lightsaber is in motion. So that's really cool. And more lightsabers. I wasn't really keen on picking up these from, from uh, Disney, but now that I see these, I got to have them as well. So that's going to be dope, too. So I gotta have lightsabers, gotta have freaking figures. This is gonna be bananas. Other than that, you also have the option for her to have the holographic transmissions with either uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, or Yoda. So you can display her that way. And she comes with a thermal detonator! <laughs> That's about it. That's everything that comes with this figure. So this one's probably gonna be in line with the pricing of their single figures. Hot Toys hasn't yet announced a price for it just, just yet. So you're probably going to be looking at about $235 to $260 for the figure. So I think it's about right uh, for a single figure on this of this size, uh, especially with the way it looks. I'm really liking the uh, whole design of it. I, I know it's going on more on the realistic take, and I would I would definitely prefer it to be more of the animated style because that's what I've become accustomed to. But I like the way this looks a lot. I think they nailed her skin tone spot on. The portrait looks real good. Looks like how I would expect it to look if she existed in the Revenge of the Sith movie. So that's kind of neat. I like that the lightsabers light up. And the hologram transmissions look like they probably light up. So I think that's really dope. So those are all really cool options. And I think it's going to look really cool displayed along with the Clone Trooper and Captain Rex when I get them. So I think that's going to make a nice looking display on my uh, shelf. Now... 
the one thing about this piece is that it doesn't have the joints, which I do like a lot, but because it doesn't have the joints, I've heard that it's prone to wrinkles in the uh, skin. So more than likely, I'm probably gonna end up having to get two of these. Uh, not because I'm looking to sell the other one, but just because that, you know, after a long time of it being posed on my shelf in Florida, you know, it may get wrinkles and I may have to take and replace it with something newer. So more than likely that. And then with the clone trooper, come on, you got to have more than one of those guys. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an army growing in, in my room with these guys. So is this a display or a name? What the hell do you guys think? You didn't see my reaction at the beginning of this video. Of course, this is a display for me. This thing looks dope. I can't wait for this thing to come out. So let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. And remember, if you're looking to pick this one up, head over to Collector Zone or the Big Bad Toy Store. Both those are your best options, best prices for you guys to get this one. So definitely check that out. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.